everybody. So today I've decided to do a video on um, casting your ritual circle. And I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part is going to be how I set up for my circle, you know, the different items that I use, what I put where, and why I do things a certain way. And then the second part is going to be how I actually cast the circle. Now I'm not going to actually cast a circle because I think that that's very personal, but I don't see any reason why I can't share how I do something. Um, because you know, when, when I first started the craft, I would have loved to have found somebody that showed me step by step how they did something. Because I read book after book after book and you know everybody said something different. Which is great. I mean that's why people come to Wicca because they can do whatever they want as long as it doesn't harm anybody. But when you start out from a very structured religion like Christianity, Catholicism, you know anything like that, you it's very difficult to go from something with so much structure to something that's just wide open. It's like, hey, you are, you, this is for you. You do what you want with it. And it's like, wow, that's awesome. But where do I start? You know, what, what do I do? So I just wanted to show you guys how I personally do things um, for people that are very comfortable in the way that they do things. This is just, you know, showing you how other people do it different. And for those of you that are new, and you know don't exactly know how to go about doing things maybe this will give you a little bit better understanding so with that in mind we're gonna start now I'm gonna start by talking about my actual um, circle itself this is my circle and it's not perfect right now because I just laid it out for the video but I always try to have a physical representation of the circle out, whether it be um, like this is a cord, it's got yellows and greens and blues and reds, so it's got all the different colors of the elements in it. And I try to have that out um, because I want to have a physical representation of the circle so it's easier for me to focus. Um, so it may be that, like during Ostara I had flower petals, you can use salt, you can use if you're outside, you can draw it in the sand, whatever. So that's my circle. And then my altar is in, if you can see, my altar is in the center. It's not in a specific quadrant. It's not near a specific element. It's in the very center. And the reason I do that is a couple different things. First, I think that it's very important, um, at least for me, to to be able to walk around my altar. When I'm doing ritual, I'm I'm very mobile. I move around a lot. And when I'm cleansing the sacred space, I do it after I cast the circle, so I like to be able to walk around it. Um, also, if you think of, you know, when you see pictures of the elements, you see north, south, east, and west, and right in the middle is your akasha, is your spirit. and I feel like when you're doing ritual, you are the you are the personification of spirit. You know, you take the place of spirit. So I feel like, you know, that should be right in the middle, right around everything. All the elements are equidistance to you. That's where you should be. My personal opinion. Other people, you know, have them have their altars in the north. They have them in the south. They have them in the east. My personal opinion is to have it in the middle. That's just what I like to do. Um, for my actual altar, there's a couple different things that I always need to have on. I cast my circle with my athame, so I've got that here. I've got my bowl of salt and my bowl of water. And there is my incense and my fire or candle. So there's the four different elements. Um, I've got, for libation, I have uh, my goblet or my chalice. Um, I've got this that I keep whatever I'm using in. And then I've got, now I personally have the god stuff on the, um, on the left hand side and I have the goddess on the right. Um, 
that is just personal. Um, that's just what feels right. I put everything where it feels right, not necessarily because I know that, you know, air is a male energy, so that should be over here. But, you know, earth, which is what this is, is female, it should be over there. I don't do that like that. I put everything where I feel like it should go. But I've got my God candle. I actually wrote that on there. <laughs> And then I've got the uh, gold candle to represent the god as well. And then I have the goddess candle and a silver candle to represent the goddess. And this is my personal working candle. I don't know if you can see I um, carved a little triquatra in it. And I light that during all my magical workings. This is just a sage bundle I had to put out. But this is normally for my um, libation bowl. Um, sometimes I have different stones on here. Um, so yeah, so there is my actual altar layout. I make sure I have all my stuff on before I start doing ritual. Now, I also want to show you guys this too, and I'm going to tell you that this is going to be much different than you will read in any book. And this is what I'm saying about Wicca. You can literally do what feels right for you. And Charming Pixie Flora did an excellent video on this, and I'm so glad that I am not the only witch that sees it this way. But, I'm going to show you guys my elemental candles. Now, for each quadrant, or for each corner, you know, I've got a different color representing each of the elements. Um, earth, air, fire, and water. Now, this is my north candle. This is my east candle. This is south, excuse me kitty, and this is west. Now you'll probably notice something a little bit different here. Personally, I see the north as being the element of air and the east being the element of earth. Every single book you will read on Wicca, witchcraft, anything about casting circles, they will put north as air, east, sorry, north as earth, east as air, south as fire, and west as water, which the last two I do. But I personally feel like when I'm looking at the elements, when I think of north, I think of air. I think of things that are up. When I think of east and west, you know, they're flat. I think of what I look at when I look across the horizon. I see water and I see land, earth and water. And then south, I think of a couple different things. One originates back when I was, you know, in Christianity. And you think of south, you think of fire, you think of hell. Um, but more so being up in Michigan, when I think of south, I think of you go down south because it's warm. Um, so I always just thought of south as being fire anyway. But that's what I'm saying. Just because a book says a certain thing doesn't mean that you have to do that. Um, I switched things up because that's what felt right to me. Now people might get mad at me. They say, you know, they may say, oh my gosh, that's not right. It may not be right for you. So don't do that. That's totally fine. Me, it works for me. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, call the corners and use a specific um, element for a specific direction if it doesn't feel right to me because it's just going to screw me up. And I'm just going to be thinking the whole time, man, this north really should be air because that's what feels right because of this, this, and this. But this is what the book says. That's the whole point of Wicca is experience w change what you need do what works for you so so that is the different corners that I have out and you can use anything you want you know if you want to use um, a bowl of salt a bowl of dirt a plant you know a green candle you can do that for earth for fire or south you know fire if you want to use a candle if you want to use a, a red colored stone you know anything that that you see as being fire. For water, if you want to, you know, use a bowl of water, but if you want to use a seashell or something you found in the ocean or a blue crystal, you can do that. And for air, if you want to use a, a feather or a um, uh, incense or anything like that. I personally like using candles, but 
that's just my personal opinion. So that is what I make sure I have up before I do ritual. Um, like I said, it's all kind of messy right now because I just put everything up just so you could see what I normally put up. Oh, look it. I got my plants all transplanted. Sorry, totally random, but just wanted to show you guys that. Yay. But, so anyways, that was part one for my video. I uh, just wanted to show you guys what I do to get set up. My next part will be actually showing you how I cast the circle, the different chants that I say, what order I do it. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me, to comment. I have this stuff, it, if anytime anybody comments or sends me anything, it gets sent right to my phone. Um, so, you know, if you leave me a comment, I will comment back. So check back. If you want to leave me a message, I will write back to you. Um, so, you know, I've had, a, I've been really busy the last couple days. I just got back from the doctors. Apparently I have kidney stones. Awesome. Um, <laughs> but, so yeah, um, feel free to comment or message me if you have any questions and stay tuned for part two.